Hey everyone, it's Juan Romero here from Switchwatch. Delighted to be back with another review. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up below, hit that subscribe button, and please leave a comment with your thoughts. We'll be delighted to respond. This week we're here with a game called Thumper, which was developed by Drawl. It was released both on the PS4 and Steam in October 2016, and it also had support from Oculus so that you could play the game in virtual reality. The game has just now dropped on the Nintendo Switch and will also be hitting the Xbox One later on this year. There's no word on a physical copy for the Switch, so you will have to purchase it on the Nintendo eShop in your region. Currently the game is $15.99 in the UK, the United States you're looking at around $20. The game is described as a rhythm violence game, and that's not to say that your kids can't play it, but I do believe it's more of a term to describe how insane this game can actually get. You're a silver beetle hurtling at what seems to be a crazy fast speed, and your objective is to make sure you hit the A button on the Nintendo Switch pad at the right time. Yes, that's right, there's only one button that you need to press, and the game runs flawlessly and effortlessly conveys speed. We may as well end our review here guys because you're thinking this game is way too simple but you'd be wrong on that count I'm afraid. The game may seem simple at first but you know that saying where it's easy to play but hard to master that definitely applies here. This is a rhythm game at heart but you're hurtling down a linear course and you will have to direct your beetle into breakneck turns, holding the A button to execute your armor. A left right turn is hard to master and those turns are sometimes difficult to see. Miss a turn and your poor beetle loses a layer of armor and if you're unfortunate enough to make another mistake, you are dead and have to restart at the checkpoint of which there are many, which believe me, is a very good thing. The music is absolutely intoxicating and hit all the right notes and the thumps of bass work tremendously well with the orchestral score. The visuals just make you want to continue to get further into this weird and wonderful world Drool have created. What makes the game so engrossing and has you so involved is how every jump Every scrape against the wall just feels so right. The controls are perfect and the way the developers have used a smart rumble is to be commended. The game is broken up into nine tough levels and each level is broken up further into a number of checkpoints. The first level does a wonderful job of teaching you how to play, enticing you in with its simple game mechanics. As you reach each new level, you are introduced to a new move. And this may be holding A to break a barrier, or holding A and pushing up on the left control stick to jump over an obstacle. Couple that in with incredibly quick turns, and this starts to become challenging very quickly. The game becomes more complex as you reach each new level. It becomes so challenging and intense that you do feel like you're in a tunnel vision world. So concentrated that your palms start to sweat. By the time I came out of doing one section, I felt compelled to get a cup of tea, stretch out, have a little rest on my sofa. I kid you not, I think this game is a form of exercise on the brain. Can you imagine what it must be like hurtling down a narrow track on a gravity powered bobsleigh? Flying down a narrow twisty track with bank turns on an icy and crazy track is exactly what it must be like in the real world. Factor in the weird and intoxicating music and visuals and you can start to get an understanding of what this actual game is like. I have to admit, I nearly threw my switch out the window a number of times. So if you are someone who has anger issues, please do not buy this game as your switch will not last long past level 3. Get to a boss and miss one beat or one turn and you will not get the opportunity to fire your weapon. It's so frustrating, but when you master the sequences, the satisfaction when you do beat the boss is truly unbelievable. Master a sequence and you get to fire your weapon. Each sequence is slightly harder than the last. Fire your weapon four times and you've beaten the boss. If you die in a sequence, if you, especially in sequence four for example, 
Having spent an hour just to master the previous three, you start from the beginning when it is the boss fight. You can imagine that I had to walk away, count to ten, take some very deep breaths and have a quiet word with myself. My poor neighbours, if it's not me swearing at the TV for my football team, it's because I'm hurtling abuse at my poor little silver beetle through no fault of its own. When you get past level 3, it really is a new level of hard. If you can't master the pounding shot wave to bring down the boss, then you'll not be able to defeat it. By the time you get to level 4, you can even switch lanes with the left control stick, and level 5 brings laser sentries, which will hit you if you miss a thump. When you do manage, after many hours of blood, sweat and tears, to get to level 5 and beyond, then things really start to hot up. Make sure you put a plaster on your thumb, because you're going to need it. I personally love challenging games like this, but not everybody does, and there's no doubt that this game is truly difficult. Some say it's the Dark Souls of rhythm games. I would say you can't really compare the two because you need lightning fast reflexes for this game and the skill set needed to play a game like this is very different to that of Dark Souls. This for me could be considered a negative for some. The only other part of the game I would consider as slightly negative is the visuals are fantastic but many of the levels look quite similar and it would have been great if there was a little bit more variety. I think it's fair to say that some people will not ever get to complete Thumper. I can imagine many will want to perfect level 2 and 3 to show off their scores on the online leaderboard and the replay value comes from you trying to get a higher score by perfecting each part between checkpoints. This is inspired because it means you can choose a part of the game you enjoy and then you perfect your score. It's then shared online and this makes you want to keep getting better. The score is delivered in both number and letter format, a letter from C to S, S being the best and C being not so good. And this will show you how well you did and then you will have a number next to the letter with your actual score. This is to show you both your accuracy and your skill level. To increase your score you want to try and understand the advanced scoring system as quickly as possible. Collect blue gems, execute perfect turns, take no damage and miss no thumps and you're well on your way. Later on if you can pound when you see a creature's tentacles you will also amass more points and this of course will go hand in hand to also increasing your overall rank. In conclusion this game has gorgeous visuals, runs perfectly in both handheld mode and TV mode and has a masterful audio quality. There is something here for both the casual and the hardcore gamer. There is plenty of replay value in effect in the first few level scores and for those that want the ultimate challenge then just completing the game is one to overcome. It may take you around 15 hours dependent on your skill level but you will pump in many more hours increasing your scores and rankings. I can therefore fully recommend this game. Guys, I really appreciate you listening to this video and watching. If you like what you see and you like what you hear, please smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel so you can get weekly content delivered to you. And please comment in the comment section. We want to hear your thoughts and we want to be able to respond to them. My name is Juan Romero from Switchwatch and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Sweet, 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 sweet